So as of right now, Nintendo just released some new games to the Nintendo Switch's online service if you're interested in that. And all of them are pretty much your standard affair. You got games like NES Golf, and then you got some other ones on the list. I can't remember every single one on the list, but most of them are your standard affair. They're just old NES games plopped onto the Nintendo Switch's online service to entice you to buy the Nintendo Switch's online service. However, there is one exclusive game that is exclusive to the uh, Nintendo Switch's online service, and it caught my attention, and I want to talk about it in this video. The game I'm talking about is Legend of Zelda. We're not getting a new Legend of Zelda, per se. We're actually getting a spin on the original Zelda. It's not really anything mind-blowing or anything amazing, but I thought I would talk about it. So the new version that we're getting on the uh, Nintendo Switch's online service is the Legend of Zelda I think it's called Special Edition, and in this Special Edition, it reads, The Legend of Zelda, Living the Life of Luxury. In this souped-up version of The Legend of Zelda, you'll start with a ton of rupees and items. You'll begin with all equipment, including the white sword, the magical seal, and the blue ring, and even the power bracelet. But if Ganon's still giving you a hard time, the power of money will overcome. Just buy yourself some more items and give it another shot. Beating the game once grants you access to a more difficult version of the game called Second Quest. And this brought my eye to the Nintendo Switch's online service, not just because this is a new take on Legend of Zelda and it's a much more dumbed down version for people who can't beat the original one and are having problems. It brought my, uh, it brought my attention to this just because, well, maybe Nintendo in the future may release exclusive games to the NES, uh, are the Nintendo Switch's online service. A lot of people talk about how they want different games on there. They want GameCube games, they want N64 games, they want Game Boy games, they want Game Boy Advance games. They just want different games on the Nintendo Switch's online service. But no one's really talking about how Nintendo could actually put exclusive games that are gonna be on the Nintendo Switch's online service and you can't get those games anywhere else. So you can't get them on like an NES Classic, an SNES Classic, you can't get them on your normal uh, Nintendo Switch. You can't get them on any other Nintendo platform, but if you pay for the Nintendo Switches online on your Switch, then you'll get access to these exclusive games. They could give us some exclusive NES games that they're building. They could give us some exclusive SNES games they're building as well, or they could give us just totally all new games, like maybe some indie or retro or just some different games that are gonna be on there. And that would be interesting instead of giving us games that we've already played and played a lot that we're gonna be getting some exclusive ideas now. Will this ever happen? I'm not sure if this will ever happen, but it's just something interesting to think about how if Nintendo's doing something like the special edition of Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo uh, Nintendo online service for the Switch, then they could do this in the future. And this would actually be pretty cool. And this would pretty much, if they do it right, they could actually entice people to pay for it, which some people wouldn't pay for it in the first place. But if they see these games that are games that are exclusive to the uh, online service from Nintendo, they may be enticed to actually buy it because, well, they weren't going to buy it anyway because... They don't really like the offerings. They don't like the online offerings, playing their uh, Nintendo Switch games online. They don't like the cloud savings. There's nothing really enticing them to buy this service. But if they put exclusive games that are exclusive to this service that you can't play anywhere else, people may be interested in buying this. And honestly, if they release some pretty awesome stuff, I would actually go ahead and actually uh, end up pulling my uh, subscription on here. Either way, I'm going to end up pulling my subscription when... Uh, Super Smash Brothers comes in December because who's really going to play the boss on that game? The boss on that game are just mediocre and just not that fun to play against and you just get kind of bored of that. So I will be picking up a subscription then, but if they were to do some deals on some exclusive games to the uh, Nintendo uh, online service for the Switch, then I would definitely jump the gun and actually go ahead. But this right now just seems like it could just be a test of maybe testing the waters of just different things that they're going to throw on the uh, uh, online service of the Switch, and maybe they won't actually do anything. Maybe this is just, uh, uh, maybe this is just something I'm thinking about. But really, in the future, they're not really going to do anything with this. It's just a coincidence that they're doing it now with one game, but they're not going to do it with anything else. They could actually not even give us new games on the service. What they could do is like the Zelda game that we're seeing right now. They could actually just modify certain games and give us new modes and games and new things and games and things like that. Would that even still be enough for people to subscribe to say, let's play the old Mario Bros, but we're gonna throw you some new items or give us some new DLC levels or something like that in the game to entice people? Who really knows? But it's just something cool and they're really trying to test the waters, I do believe, on what people are willing to uh, play and are they willing to pay for these uh, things uh, on the online service and things like that. So it is pretty cool that we do get a 
pretty much a dumbed down version of Zelda, a much more easier version for people who can't beat the original Zelda, who are having difficulties and things like that. I just thought that was very interesting. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News, signing out.